What we're going to be doing today is using Google's Maker Suite at the um, Google AI Studio to quickly prototype some uh, Gemini prompts with the vision as well as the text and ultimately get you going um, in a really quick, fast way. Instead of using the Google Cloud and Vertex AI environment, Google's offered up this um, environment to quickly test, quickly prototype and get your um, ideas down. So let's get going. Right, so building with Gemini is a um, great new feature from the um, Titans at Google. And what it basically is, is a great space for you to test and um, build your own applications. It's made for developers, um, but also for personal use as well. You can play around with it and uh, refine your prompt in engineering using the interface that's made available. <clears throat> All right, so really competitively priced. It comes with some free uh, credits, so 60 requests per minute, um, faster than more and faster and more uh, than some of the competitors out there. And um, it doesn't require the Vertex and Google Cloud at the moment. Uh, so a great space to test it and um, play around before you look to scale. To so start playing with it, go into ai.google.dev and log in. All right, so it'll ask you to um, get an API key in Google AI Studio. You can just click on get the API key. And what it's gonna do now is it's gonna create a environment for you. All right, so very slick looking, nice and uh, clean, I thought. And um, here's your space where you can now start fine tuning your prompts. You've got the option to do um, image prompts over here by changing it to the Google Pro Vision. And you can now select the A image, or you can go back to the Gemini Pro, set your temperatures on the right hand side, and um, ultimately any safety settings or any banned phrases that you want to include. All right, so this is your basic interface over here. So let's just do a quick example. So uh, sample, and we'll just pop it in over there like this. So let's just say, um, write a story in one sentence about the weather. And let's hit run. All right, so this is basically the raindrops dance on a symphony on the window pane, painting a mel melancholic masterpiece. Okay, so pretty much um, generative AI at its best there, coming up with something random. All right, um, what we can do is try out the image. So let's click on the model over here, the vision model. Let's type in, let's click that. And let's say here, um, let's put this in here. So, um, um, describe or create a poem about this image and let's hit run all right so sunflower i am a sunflower stand tall and proud all right so pretty straightforward pretty standard you can save the prompt if you wanted to share it with your mates, you could do that or grab the code if you wanted to develop your own uh, APIs. But what I wanted to do is just go in and show you the um, chat prompt over here. So this is basically where you can start fine tuning um, what you want your prompts to look like. So the user's input um, might be um, what is a AI consultant and you can now pop in a response over here. A consultant is a person who can help with a strategy of AI maturity assessments and enable capability in your org. Okay, so that's what we've popped in there. And we can do some other questions like this. Um, what is the benefits of AI consultant? And if you don't have the answer, you can let it generate for you. 
Okay, so it's got some benefits over there, provides strategic guidance, maturity assessments. Yep, 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 all these good things. All right, so what we can do now is test it on the right-hand side. So you can start basically building up this over here. Um, what is a AI consultant? All right, so as you can see, it's now been trained on this information and what is that what is an ai consultant this person who can help with the strategy ai maturity so it's basically pre-training it to ultimately give you an answer so that's all pretty cool you can rename this over here and let's call it ai consulting and hit save right the other one that you could do is structured prompts and what you can do over here is create input examples and outputs so let's put in here um, product and keep the colon at the end it just helps it um, understand the end of it and then we can just check product um, output all right and to test the prompt so let's write a test uh, input over here so let's type in um, a um, well, let's just go here chat bot um oh let's sorry let's add in a, a thing over here so you are a content marketer and provide sharp sassy product headlines with short descriptions for products Okay, so that's, we just need to set our context first. Uh, here's the product, here's the product output, and input over here is um, under that particular category. The output's gonna be there, so let's go chatbot uh, for plants, or plant growers. And what we can do is hit the generate response. So what it's gonna do now is it's going to be a, you're a content marketer and create product headlines and ultimately shoot it out like that. Okay, so this is one other way of just testing the examples and getting the, um, the, the, pro the prototyping ready for you to um, expand into your service offerings. And that's it really for um, the Google uh, Maker Suite. Um, Benefits are you don't have to open up your Google Cloud, you don't have to use credits there, you don't have to do any of your storage, um, but if you wanted enterprise versioning and security, you'd probably go over there, check out one of my other videos.